Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Control. We are about to reach the hotline, which will allow us to contact extra-dimensional entities. Which is also my favorite Warlock D&D spell. And what I love about this is that... This is what I imagine some extra-planar, four-dimensional entity would be like if it had to exist in 3D space. It's turbulent, violently shifting. Just a mass of, of matter that just is incompatible. And it hurts to even get near. And it will pursue you. Not the last we have seen of those. Well done slash dialed. You can contact us slash past selves in the hotline slash collectibles menu. We expect compulsive slash weekly calls. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. So first things first, the board told us that they expected us to call them from the collectibles menu. So let's see what that's all about with our first call to them. About the directorship. You are the director now. We expect independence slash dependence. You are authority slash chosen one. The bureau slash game needs you. We will check back in with the board periodically. In the meantime, we are going to make our way back towards Central Executive, talk to Emily Pope, and if I'm not mistaken, this part of the area has shifted around and opened up to act as a shortcut back to the director's office, which means we have much easier access than completely backtracking to get back to Central Executive. Still no level 4 keycard, we're still on security clearance level 1. And soon enough, we will have an upgraded keycard. First, we have to figure out what to do next. And we're going to go into the boardroom and talk to Jeez. Emily. Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling, 
Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Before we move on to that? Mama... Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? Oh, oh yeah. Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, before moving on... Hi, Jesse. Mm, she has nothing new to say. Unfortunately. Sure uh, maybe a little bit later. We're going to dip our toes in a few more of the AAA industry mandated character progression systems like that have opened up... Since getting our first couple of skill points, first we are going to see that we have no new outfits, but that's a thing that we will have in the future. These are challenges, which once completed will grant you some random weapon mods or personal mods. And let's see. Kill enemies using melee, kill his guards, kill enemies without dying. Let's go for that. That will reward a random common personal mod. We have Astral Constructs, which in the mod section, we can roll our own random mods, just paying a few resources. Oh no, we're just shy of having enough to construct the Shatter form of the service weapon. So we'll have to wait and see uh, that at a later time. And then we have our abilities. Uh, this is kind of lackluster. It's ancillary stuff, not that exciting especially early on, but it is inoffensive at the very worst. Uh, so we will upgrade our telekinesis damage and our health for now. And then also we have the fast travel stuff unlocked. And we have about three control points we can fast travel between. Don't need to right now, though. Diamond world, meet me in the main I love Ati's voice. In the accent. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face.
consider this. Jesse is having a conversation with someone who we can't hear, but who is communicating via these flashes of blue spirals, like we're seeing at the loading screen. With that in mind, is the loading screen talking here? Is it telling us the tips, or is it saying something else, or nothing at all? Or is it a different being from whoever Jesse's talking to? The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. She's actually guiding me too. She's actually partially right there. The elevator did appear where the portrait of Ati originally was. This is going to require the upgraded keycard I alluded to earlier. Don't have it yet, but we will get it very soon. Ventilation, janitor's office. Yeah, this is where we want to head. Override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? Oh, I see you. That was one of the shielded ones, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no! <laughs> oh! If I take one bullet here? God! Oh, there's a lot. <gasps> this is such an awkward spot, too. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, what I... Oh, God. I need to get close because they're dropping health. But I'm... Really concerned about getting too close and just... Oh, God. Wow, this went so bad. God. Oh. We can clutch this. <laughs> We did it. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that to backfire so spectacularly or at all. <laughs> what a video game. <laughs> oh no. The table's haunted. It's become an object of power. Yeah, ventilation. Blackrock Quarry. We have become Warcraft. Thanks to the upgraded launch. Uh, this is now one-shotting the weaker enemies. Next, we can actually start working on our energy bar, too, so we can get more than one of those at a time. Plus, pretty soon, we will have a new power at our disposal, and it's the one that I mistakenly thought that we were going to get at the beginning of the episode. Have no fears, it's coming. Where, where, where? I know it's in this direction. Wait, is that on the scaffolding up? Yep. Okay. Not as much of a disaster as that first fight. And things have calmed down significantly. Pick that health up and just see a couple of the little features around here. Uh, like this barricaded or blockaded path. We can destroy the thing blocking us, but I think you can tell pretty clearly from the haze in the air 
and all of the spores. It's not safe to wander in there just yet. Besides, we still have to make it to Ati. And that should be priority number one. Unless something really grabs our interest on the way. And it's just to our right. But there's some sort of blinking red light over on the left. So we could go straight to the janitor's office or embark on a merry chase. Oh, yes. The Threshold Kids shorts are uh, in-universe puppet shows, and they're actually really interesting in the role that they serve. Oh no, we got Dark Souls. <laughs> oh yeah, this one! This one's one of my favorites! God, I love the way the walls move here, and the ceiling too. Uh, so control and weird fiction in general, just by the nature of it, can be a little bit impenetrable. So the Threshold Kids came this place makes me nauseous. from the developers wanting a way to simplify and reinforce the themes to make it more digestible. And at first, they were going to do sock puppets. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? But then they realized that they had both a budget a carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Uh, a budget and someone on staff experienced with puppeteering. So we took inspiration from uh, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared on YouTube, and they ran with it. Uh, it almost didn't make the cut into the game, though. There's even an in-game memo uh, that explains their purpose as, as in-fiction educational videos. And yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! We have a dash now that we got from what appears to be a side quest. Something that we could have just skipped over. And that uh, dash is an air dash. It's a pretty good feeling air dash too, I gotta say. Oh, and the other thing about this air dash... As long as you have the energy, you can chain them together, so it's multiple air dashes. So we're waiting for this. Yep, there we go. You've been approved. You and the house are now bound slash friends for life. Damn straight we're friends for life. The house gave me an Let's air dash. Keep up with me now. God, 
This game is so cool. And then we'll get the shatter form for the service weapon next time we come across a control point. And uh, things will open up in the best way. Also, this game has some really good side content. And there is, uh... If you've played the game, there is one thing in particular that you might be wondering if I'm gonna do. And I will. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, but yeah, ha, ha, ha. You think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now Magnus won't perkele suoraan that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a uh, power plant perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seat's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Ati is the best. We're going to do some work for Ati. And uh, learn a little bit more about the oldest house. Next time. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.